like I'm nestled in all the beautiful colors right now and spring is coming and I've been popping in more and more bright colors throughout my home. I'm just so excited for fresh flowers and to be outside and to wear dresses again. Uh, so I wanted to share some of my recent antique and vintage thrifted home decor items as well as some new spring things that I recently got in and we're just going to jump right into it so let's do it. This first piece is so funny. It's from a website called dollskill.com and they have really different unique pieces on there and I, this one like spoke to me it's this beautiful uh renaissance kind of marie antoinette type of vibe but when you look at it they're all tatted up so it's kind of like sweet and spicy and then on the or sweet and spicy or sweet and sassy sweet and sassy that's what i like to say and then on the back she's like sticking out her tongue i thought it was really funny it's like one of those pieces um that's totally my vibe where it's like it looks sweet but the more you look at it it's actually like kind of naughty and sassy there is a new brand that i am obsessed with like i always thought i was a hardcore free people girl until i discovered this brand called we are hot or we are hot as hell i think is the name of it um, but they make beautiful laces that are actually machine washable uh, so i when I wash this, I just put it on the delicate cycle and then I air dry. And this blouse is everything. I just shot this in a recent jewelry lookbook and it has this beautiful Renaissance, like romantic Victorian vibe to it in this pretty ivory soft peach color. And these sleeves are unreal. I don't have anything like this in my closet and it's just so so soft and it's definitely a piece that i don't have to worry about wearing i find myself worried about some of my vintage lace pieces because they're so delicate but this one's really really durable and i could dress this up or wear it with jeans and it's definitely a piece that's going to be a favorite in rotation this spring Laura and I have a sweet subscriber named Patty who messaged us on The Recycled Life and she said she used to style for the Miss America pageants back in the 80s and had some cool pieces that she wanted to share with us. This is one of them. This is a marabou feather jacket and it is so glamorous. It's the epitome of glam. She also gifted me a really beautiful chocolate colored one too. But I'm just going to pop this on really quick because you need to see how amazing it is. It's <laughs> Oh, look at these sleeves. <laughs> I love it. This jacket's really cool because it um, it's like lined with this satiny material and it's so lightweight. It's going to be a perfect springtime jacket or like a like a springtime date night one. Something just pop over really, really easily and look super glam. And like, how can you not smile and feel fab in something like this? <laughs> So uh, I got this one recently at Goodwill and this is by the brand Rails and it's a really, really expensive brand. Uh, this one still had the tags on it and it retailed for about $160 and it's a really, really soft, soft fabric. This brand Rails is known for their really comfortable, casual uh, pieces that are really, really soft to the touch. Uh, this one here is a nice longer tunic length and it has a bit of a plaid type vibe to it and I love this lace front detailing. I picked this up at Goodwill for only $6. Okay, let's pop into the fun home finds and I have them spread on the coffee table in front of me. I wanted to start with this one because I don't know what it's called. I believe this is a milk glass, but it's blue and I've never seen blue before. I got a couple of these at my favorite auction house and I thought they would look really, really pretty with some fresh lemons inside. The contrast of yellow and blue is like such a cheery color combination. Uh, so if you know what this is called, please comment below and let me know because uh, I'd really like to know. This is another beautiful antique piece. I love its honeycomb like detailing and texture to it. And I think this is called Blue Flow. I don't know a lot about glassware. Uh, that's one of the areas where I haven't really studied and I feel like I'm still at the beginning of learning about it. But I think that this is gonna be gorgeous for spring. Imagine this with some beautiful colored, coral colored flowers or pink roses in there look amazing. These two beauties are really, really beautiful. Uh, I think they're both artist signed. Did this one get signed? Stamped on the bottom. Uh, these both came from my favorite auction house as well when I brought Laura there. I think I got this one for $10 and like this one for only $5. And Dale told me at the time that they were both from the late 1800s. So this one itself is signed John 89 and so it'd be from 18. 
89. It's really beautiful. I love the poppies. I, I feel like you tend to see a lot of roses in hand painted decor type items, but not a lot of poppies and other flowers. So this one's super beautiful. I love mixing, as you can see, like the coral into my decor lately. And the size of this one's really, really good. Let's put it over here. And this beauty kind of reminded me of like a, a wild rose or um, like a blossom from a blackberry vine, like that kind of like free papery flower. I don't know, it's so pretty. And I love this combination with the turquoise and kind of minty green mixed into it. This one is stamped and signed on the bottom, but it is so faded, I can't read it. But she's old and beautiful and I love it. My favorite things to get for Christmas are presents that came from thrift stores and estate sales because I know that thought went into it and my mom loves to look over the summertime and she like stashes stuff away for me in her closet to gift to me for Christmas and these were two of the pieces that she gave me. Uh, I was going to show you, I put this one on my entryway with this big drippy candle. I got, I know I get a lot of questions on these candles because they're so dang cool. Uh, she's stuck in there. There we go. Um, what is that? Oh, this is, I broke a vase. I broke this really old vase a couple weeks ago and that's one of the parts. Um, I got these drippy handles at Home Goods. I don't know if they still have them because I got them a couple years ago. Um, but they're called pre-dripped candles if you want to look online for some yourself. But these two brass deer pieces are what my mom gave to me. And this bowl is really cool. Uh, I feel like you could put like your car keys in there, or pop your sunglasses in there, like a little catch-all type of thing. But I thought it looked really neat with my big chunky candle in it. This one is a nice tapered candlestick holder. Uh, same motif with the deer with the big antlers and stuff. It's just like a really cool piece. I think my mom got these for like a dollar at an estate sale. So if you're not looking for your Christmas presents while you're out thrifting, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below, what are you out thrifting for this season? I feel like I always have a little wish list of things going on up there. So what's on your wish list? I am curious. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.